Cobb County parents say they feel like they're waiting for the next shoe to drop. About a week ago, the superintendent announcing the district that it will no longer be contact tracing COVID-19 cases. New at 11, many parents worried the superintendent will also opt out of the state's free COVID-19 testing for the district. So our Paula Soro takes your questions straight to the district. Back in August, the Cobb County School District sent a survey out asking parents if they're interested in free COVID-19 testing in schools. The results never released. They polled the parents this past year. Do you want it? Never heard a response. That's until grassroots advocacy organization watching the funds Cobb filed an open records request. And what we found was shocking to us that they wouldn't share that information because 79.3% of the respondents said yes, they would support and did want optional COVID testing available in the schools. Fast forward to last week, Governor Brian Kemp sends out this letter relaxing contact tracing for schools and mentioning that the state health department is offering free COVID-19 testing to districts. Hot off the press as of this morning. At a board meeting that same day, Superintendent Chris Ragsdale says the district will no longer contact trace, but no mention of the free testing. Students, staff, teachers, and families could have free COVID testing free to the district wouldn't cost us a dime and we've not been told if they're opting in. So we asked the district, which gave us no direct answer. During all options which support safe, high quality learning, parents have not been made aware of any free testing options available for their kids. We have yet to receive any communication uh, from our superintendent about it, so I am eager to hear uh, what we will do. More than 17,000 people work for the district, making it the largest employer in the county. I hope they're strongly planning on instituting th this COVID test within the school system because it alleviates a financial and an emotional burden. And by the way, would keep workers healthy and safe and able to work. You know, we also reached out to the district asking why it has not posted its COVID-19 case counts on its website since mid-December. So this is what we learned. In part, the district said, quote, recent changes to our public health protocols and their impact on accurate COVID-19 case counts are under review. Once that's determined, it will provide an update on its site.